And we're out here today, beautiful sunny day. In the fall, there's still beautiful sunny days after you harvest beans and corns. Our view is why not harvest the sunshine? Why not feed the mycorrhizae? Why not feed the soil? Uh, soil is meant to be living. Soil is meant to be nurtured. The life of the soil is meant to be nurtured and taken care of. Uh, the old farming systems of till and kill and then bring everything back to life chemically is a broken system. Agriculture cannot and will not exist on that paradigm. Uh, that's what we're doing our testing we are. You know, we want to find a sus truly sustainable farming system. Uh, I like no-till, but I believe cover cropping in it, with an ecological intent is the best way to practice no-till. Uh, I'm very confident that's the, the future of agriculture. I'm very excited to be part of that future. And we at Center Seeds are always excited to talk to farmers about what we can do to help to meet their specific farm needs, but to do it on an ecological basis, not necessarily a chemical industrial uh, mechanization process. Uh, and really, if you think about it, this is probably the way it was meant to be all along. Uh, somebody a lot smarter than me, uh, and I think we all know that is God, uh, designed that farming can be done naturally. And all we do is the, the closer we get to the natural process, the better it works. You know, people ask me what some of the biggest challenges with cover cropping is or ecological farming. Well, the biggest challenge you face is people aren't patient. It took us decades to mess this up in this country and in this world. And it's not maybe going to take decades to fix it up. I'm seeing great results in year three or five, three, four, and five. Uh, and what's also exciting, you know, I, I think all of us should want to do this to care about uh, the, man, the person downstream. You know, our water discharge is, is, is very, very important. We get our water discharge from our farm and uh, we do have some uh, profile stuff on the internet with a SARE grant I did a few years ago where we've got our water discharge off these farms down to basically tap water. It's something we're very proud of. Um, I, think it's, I know it's the right thing to do and we're not sending phosphorus and nitrate molecules downstream uh, to degrade the nation's water supply and the water supply for our, our friends and family in other locations 